Sinu World by Regal Entertainment for $3.6 billion. Britain's Sinu World Group PLZ sealed an agreement to buy larger U.S. peer Regal Entertainment Group on Tuesday for $3.6 billion in cash, the deal that would create the world's second largest movie theater operator. The takeover would put the combined company in a better position to take on industry leader AMC Entertainment Holdings Incorporated and give it more scale to fight growing competition from Netflix Incorporated, Apple Incorporated and other digital outlets. Regal is three times larger than Sydney World by market value and the combined company would have about 9,542 screens, with 7,315 screens in the United States. Regal has theaters in Fenton and Hazelwood. Movie theaters have been struggling to win back viewers as competition from digital streaming platforms draws moviegoers away. Sydney World Chief Executive Mookie Greater brush aside those concerns. When they go to the cinema, they go to the cinema and who loves to go to the cinema more than the Americans? Radier told Reuters. Radier said he expects to boost margins and revenue at Regal, adding that Sinu World currently has margins of 22%, while Regal has margins of about 19.6 to 19.7%. Rival AMC is majority owned by China's Daily and Wanda Group which has bought a slew of cinema assets around the world including taking a controlling stake in U.S. film studio Legendary Entertainment last year. The approach by Sydney World was considered well-timed as shares in the U.S. company have plunged more than 20% over the last year on concerns over stagnant admissions at theaters. The deal value of $23 per Regal share represents a premium of about 12% to Regal's closing price on Monday and implies an enterprise value, equity plus debt, of $5.8 billion. Regal shares have risen 13.6% since Reuters first reported in November that Sinu World had approached Regal over a potential deal. Sinu World shares have fallen about 20% in the period. Sinu World said it expected the deal to strongly add to earnings in the first full year following completion, currently expected in the first quarter of 2018. The combined company is expected to deliver pre-tax benefits of $100 million, as well as additional annual benefits of $50 million. The company said. Sydney World said it expected to fund the deal through a rights issue to raise about £1.7 billion $2.3 billion with the rest provided by committed debt facilities and existing cash. Sydney World expects to be able to maintain its existing dividend policy after the deal closes. However, brokerage P.O. Hunt cut its recommendation to hold from OBD, citing long-term concerns. While the deal provided a step change in profitability and cash flow for Sydney World, the long-term investment proposition had fundamentally changed as a result of higher debt and earnings becoming heavily dominated by mature markets, P.O. Hunt analysts wrote. Sydney World shares were down 2.5%, while Regal shares were up 6.1% in pre-market trading.